Hello guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be doing a little reset for the new year. I feel like I just want to go into the new year feeling fresh and yeah, these are just certain things that I'm doing to kind of I don't know, help me feel prepared for the new year, new energy. So currently I'm actually filming this like two days before Christmas. Um, but to be honest, you can just reset whenever you need to. It doesn't even have to be like for the 1st of January, you need to have done these things. Like honestly, any point in January, like just crack on and do like a little reset routine. So the first thing that I'm actually doing as part of my reset is actually getting my nails done because, sorry, this broken nail is very off brand and yeah so is this one so yeah i'm gonna go and get my nails done but i definitely feel like adding a little bit of self-care into your reset routine can just make you feel super good you know like you know that feeling when you have like fresh hair or like fresh nails and it just feels so good so i feel like adding it into like your reset routine and like as something to do in january it does just feel so good so maybe you want to get your nails done get a facial get your hair done or whatever just whatever makes you feel good about yourself as like a little pick me up kind of thing so yeah okay so i've just had my nails done finally they're super fabulous um, and now I'm gonna do a bit of life admin for my reset routine. So today I'm actually gonna work out my monthly budget. So this will be my budget for January. And yeah, I use a spreadsheet at the minute that I got from another YouTuber. I believe her name is Veronia. Um, but I'll, I could be, I could be fully mispronouncing her name. And I'll leave a link to her channel down below. It's all about like personal finance and things like that. She actually has like a budget spreadsheet um, that she sells on Etsy. And this has been so so good but yeah the spreadsheet's really helped me out and it's really good and it just helps me feel like a lot clearer about where my money is going for the month kind of thing and yeah you just like write in your salary any income that you get from side hustles you have like a column for your essential bills so like your rent electricity things like that um and then you also have a column for like if you're paying any debts or anything like that and then you have another column for like spending for like fun things so it could be like the gym etc or yeah whatever you like spend your money on and yeah the budget's just like really helped me out and it helps me like stay on track with things i feel like january is a tricky month for a lot of people as well because for one why does january feel like it's five weeks long and two because we've just had a christmas so like it can be such a tight time and then i know that some people get paid like really early and then they have to wait for ages to like get paid for january so like yeah just having like a clear budget so I can see where my money is going, etc. Just, it feels good, you know, it just feels good. So yeah, that is my life admin task for today. I also need to check the post and sort through that and see if there's anything there. I'm not expecting anything. Don't you think like when you get posts, it's always just like the most pointless letters ever. Like, I'm not saying like, don't check your post, but like, I just always feel like, the things they send me, I'm like, you could have literally like sent that in a text or like, it's always like marketing letters, like for dominoes or things like that. And I'm just like, this is just actually a waste of paper. So I need to sort through the post. Um, I also want to look for a new dentist. So yeah, these are just like little life admin tasks that I don't want to bring into the new year. Like I want to know that it's done kind of this side of the year and yeah. Okay, so my budget is done and it's not looking too bad. Honestly, it just puts me at such ease when like, I've written everything down and then said to myself, like, this is what you're spending for the month kind of thing. Like, it just makes me feel good. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is actually take some time out to reflect and think about how the past year has gone. So there's five different areas that I'm gonna look at today and it's business, personal development, finances, relationships, and wellness. And then I just have some prompts. And then the prompts that I have for my reflection are, what were my major achievements and highlights? What am I grateful for? What were the major life lessons from this year? And then it also as well has a section for planning. So what do I want to do better in 2022? What will be my top three focuses? And what accomplishments will I write about in a year's time? But I definitely do enjoy looking back at achievements because sometimes it's so easy to forget like what you've done, especially like over the space of like a year, it's easy to forget like, oh, I achieved this in like January or whatever. And it's like, you almost start to like forget about things like that. And I think sometimes when you're having like moments of doubt in yourself and things like that, it's good to look back at your achievements and say, well, actually I've done things like this before or I've been able to overcome this. And it will actually make you feel so, so much better about yourself. So yeah, I'm taking time 
to just reflect and think about things that I really want for the next year. I mean, I've already done my 2022 vision board, which if you haven't seen it, then make sure you do check it out. But there is like a few different things that I would like to add on. And yeah, just a few things that I've added to like my goal list, just I guess as I've had more time to think. Um, so yeah, a bit of reflection. I'm actually gonna go into, my apartment block has like a co-working space and I'm actually gonna go into there just so I can get some like peace and quiet, get away from the dog. Not that I don't love the dog with all my heart, but I just wanna like chill out and just like do this properly and just be like focused kind of thing, you know? So yeah. Also, I forgot to mention like a crucial part about my reflection like bit. Um, so I've mentioned a few times that I've started using Notion and Notion is really, really good. It's good for like literally organizing your whole life and you can kind of use Notion for whatever you want. It is really an amazing tool, but honestly, I find it so, difficult to use and like difficult to put together. However, Lama Day Elizabeth, who is also here on YouTube, actually just created like a digital planner, which is basically in Notion. So I've been able to basically buy the planner and then add like certain things into my Notion. So like, it's kind of like all ended up like merged together as one and the reflection and the prompts and things like that are from her planner. So yeah, and I'm definitely gonna be using it like throughout the whole year and things like that, so. Yeah, I'll leave that link down below as well. And I'll leave a channel linked down below as well. So you can check it out, but yeah. Okay, so I don't think anyone's in here. So I'm just gonna come and talk to you. There is two floors of this like co-working space. So there could be people downstairs and they could hear me saying all of this, but we move. So yeah, I've been doing my reflections for the year and it's been going really, really well. I feel like it's not something that I wanna rush as well. And we have still got like a bit of time until the 1st of January. So I don't wanna like, force myself to do it all in one day when I've got a lot of time and yeah I guess if you're reflecting like why would you rush it kind of thing so anyway I'm now gonna set some quarterly goals um so I'm gonna set some goals for January February March um and just think about like what I want to have achieved by kind of like the end of March I think sometimes when you work in quarters it's just nice to like be able to like break down your goals like a little bit more so like obviously I've got my 12 month goals which are on my vision board and then yeah now I can kind of like break it down a little bit smaller into like a quarterly goal and yeah one thing that I've also been in the process of doing over the last like couple of weeks is a digital declutter so I just feel like for the new year I just want my devices to feel fresh, to kind of have like fresh energy. So I actually did like a whole factory reset on my Mac the other week. And I was just like, I want this to be like brand new. Like obviously you can back it up and everything like that. But I was just like, there's so much stuff that like I don't need on this Mac. And I just need it all gone to be honest. And I was like, I'm just gonna delete it. And then I also deleted like old photos. Like I didn't want my like digital space to kind of be like, me hoarding like memories and things like that i know it sounds really dr dramatic but like hoarding memories and like yeah things of like people who aren't even like in my life anymore so yeah i deleted like photos old text conversations just everything like that off my phone and then obviously like i said i factory reset my mac um and yeah, I just wanted my phone and like laptop to feel a lot clearer. One thing that I haven't done yet because I did it literally like probably about two months ago is unfollow people on Instagram <laughs> because sometimes I feel like you just need to have a clear out and it's not everybody that you need to be following. And I feel like I just want to, you know, sometimes you scroll on Instagram and you're like, why do I actually follow this person? Or sometimes I like scroll through and I'm like, I don't even know who this is. And I feel like mentally, I just want to feel like a lot less cluttered this year. And I don't want to just be seeing people's lives who I don't even know who they are kind of thing. So I try to be like really selective with who I follow and things like that. So, so yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on following and things like that. And then also I like to see if there's any pages that I do want to follow that are going to be like positive or useful and helpful and things like that. Um, yeah, because I feel like you can kind of like, you can kind of like decide what you want to see on Instagram. Do you know what I mean? Like instead of following people that are going to make you feel better about yourself or that you don't even talk to, like follow pages that are going to make you feel positive and uplift you kind of thing. So yeah, a little Instagram declutter is on the way. I also need to like, clear out my whole email box i need to do that as well and i i also want to like unsubscribe from like a lot of email lists because 
you know, when you, like they just send you emails and you're like, I don't even like why why am I here? Um, so yeah, I need to like unsubscribe from them. And yeah, I feel like I'm just on the vibe of like I just want fresh energy. You know, what I mean, I just want fresh energy for the new year. Okay, so the final thing for my reset before 2022. Now I'm not gonna be able to do all of this today because I just can't today. But I'm gonna start the process of really decluttering my house. As I said, I wanna be more organized this year. So yeah, I need to like, you know, clear out some things. And yeah, I've got like a few cupboards that just need clearing out. I need to tackle my wardrobe. So yeah. So look at the state of this cupboard. And a lot of this stuff I don't even need or it doesn't work. Like say for example, this printer, it doesn't even work. So yeah. This is looking a lot better already. Yay. <laughs> okay, so we've done some decluttering and organizing and I think I'm actually gonna leave it there for today because it is actually the evening now. I feel like I had in my head that I'd be able to do everything today and I just bit off more than I could chew. And I just feel like I need a break. So yeah, it's a work in progress and yeah, I'm gonna take a little break now and just call it a night and yeah. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it as always. Hope you have an amazing Christmas and New Year. Can't believe this is the last video of the year, but thank you guys. Oh, Louis. Louis's come to say bye. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Also, I am about to hit 10K on this channel. I think I'm on like 993 as I film this. And I feel like I'm about to hit 10K probably like tonight or tomorrow or the day after, which is so crazy to me. And I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's been supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for 10K. I actually can't believe it. Like it's just so crazy to me and yeah. But if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye Louis. <laughs> Say bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>